Hey, it's Webs here with more tasks for the Leroy Jenkins event. So I'm going to do this a little bit different than the, the previous two days. We're actually going to cover both tasks in one video instead of uploading twice. As I know, I've been clogging up everyone's inboxes a bunch with all the uploads I've been doing with this new event and the new Hearthstone expansion being revealed. So I viewed this as a way to try to cut back on that a little bit. Let me know if you... Per for it this way or with them in two separate videos i can go back to the other way if you know people liked it that way so the task in question is to complete the fallen guardian bounty with only fighters in fellwood on heroic difficulty this is a really simple task to actually complete the easiest way to actually do it is by using samuro rokara and sarfang but you only really need to have Samuro and Rokara. You can just fill in with a Lady Andacondra if you don't have Sarfang as a way to act the other two mercenaries alive. And the rest of the fighters in this team I didn't actually use at all while completing this challenge. So for the equipment that we're using on the key mercenaries is Burning Blade for Samuro, Helm of Inspiration for Rokara, and for Sarfang we're using Serenite Stompers. These are the stereotypical equipments for all three of these mercenaries anyways so it shouldn't be that hard to actually have these a lot it is also worth mentioning if you're going down the orc based route you're looking for treasures along the way to actually buff up your three orcs so they can't die easily and you can do a bunch of damage really quickly so you can wipe out the boss in one or two turns so let's look at how i actually completed this task All right for this task i actually focused down the left Merc first, just because of the fact that I was more scared of the 20 plus damage than I was at the 0 CD on abilities, and we were easily able to focus this down in two turns, which did put our mercenaries at a low HP pool, but we did have the backup mercenaries on the bench. So you could probably decide to focus down the other one first, it really just depends. The main combo that we're actually using is the first ability on all three mercenaries. Though we do swap to the final ability on Samuro for one turn just so he can actually survive an additional turn. And then we finish off the final mercenary on the opponent's team with Rokara's final ability. Alright, it's time for task 6 of the event, which is... Completing the Apothecary Helbrum bounty with only Leroy in the Barrens. This can be completed on a normal bounty, so it's a lot easier than it might be what you might originally think. But it does come with the downside of actually having to have Leroy at a playable level. Though this isn't really too hard for this task because it is only a level 8 bounty. While it isn't hard to actually do this task if you do have a Leroy at the level that I currently have him at, you can do it at a much lower level. My recommendation though is to have him at around level 25-ish or higher as he'll have enough stats to actually survive long enough so you can complete the task. And, and when it comes to actually upgrading him, you're probably going to want to focus Leroy Jenkins and get chicken as the two abilities as these will allow you to basically survive anything in this challenge it really isn't that hard of a challenge to actually complete once you do have him actually level up at least a little bit and for treasures you're looking for things that will actually buff up the stats of leroy jenkins just so he can do more damage so you can have an easier time completing this task the main treasure you're actually probably looking for is something that gives him wind fury because this will make the task so easy that it isn't even funny. And if you're a new player and you don't know where to actually farm tasks or easily level up your mercenaries, Lord Bane Hollow is actually a really good location as this should allow you to just farm tasks really easily. It's probably one of the easiest hero bounties there are in the game that will also have the highest chance of getting you mysterious challengers. If you want a video on that, let me know down below. It's also worth mentioning, if you've been wondering how I've been testing out these tasks before I actually have the task in game. I've been using a Reddit post where they were actually data mined to see what the next day tasks actually are and I'll link that in the description below. So let's look at how I actually did this task. All right, so we're at the boss fight. We're gonna put down Leroy Jenkins. We're gonna do what I did to actually get to the boss, which is use get chicken, pass the turn. Then after we use get chicken, we're going to use our 
Leroy Jenkins. And just finish off in one turn, really. It's a really simple task to actually do. It looks a lot harder than it is on paper. And this is basically it. Alrighty, I hope these two guides were actually really helpful for you to complete these two tasks in the Leroy Jenkins event. And if they were, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye-bye.